we decided he would just come through the window. You know, three hours later, the police are at my house. So <laughs> what? Today on Board Decisions, we'll be talking about living with your parents. And I have none other than Taylor Nicole Dean with me, who you have many roommates, including a toad of a fish named Cheese. Yes. And hedgehogs. And mm -hmm. your parents. So. <laughs> and my little brother. Oh, God. It's great. You know, everybody loves the fresh laundry, the home cooked meals, the life advice from parents, but I feel like living with them as you get older, it's kind of like, is there a line? Do we cross it? Where is it? So, we're going to answer some of those questions. And I feel like you have some pretty good life advice on that. <laughs> I'm a little experienced. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, we're li reliving our childhood here with some frozen go gurdy Otter Pops. I've already had so much of mine. It's good. Oh, <laughs> they're very good. I had one before you came in. <laughs> mine is alcoholic, hers is not. Because I am a baby. So you are moving out soon. I am. Um, no set date yet, but okay. soon. So going from living with my parents in Texas to living on my own in Los Angeles. Mm. So. A big move. It's fun. The first question is, how do I get my parents to respect my space, but also let them still trust me? Ooh, um, I'm still learning. If you're living with your parents, you have to anticipate they're gonna be a little nosy. They're gonna be more in your business than if you were living on your own. You know, they're paying for you to live there. You do have to have a level of respect mm -hmm. to whatever their rules are, no matter how ridiculous they may sound. I mean, it's their house. Yeah, I mean, they're putting the bill on. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Every time I've tried to be secretive living at my parents, they have found it. Me too. <laughs> I don't tell my mom everything, but she still knows everything. Yeah, even when I was like a senior in high school, this is so embarrassing. I'm like telling the internet this, but go for it. So I was a senior in high school and I was dating this guy, like serious, and I was like, maybe I might have sex with him, I don't know. So I bought one condom, one con that I didn't use, mm -hmm. and I put it deep deep under my bed and my mom just decided to clean under my bed that Great. week. And she was like, are you having sex? And I was like, I just, no. I just bought it. I didn't know, I don't know. And she like didn't believe me. And I'm like, I literally was curious. <laughs> I had a similar experience, but it literally wasn't for me. I think I was a junior in high school and my friend asked me to hold her and like watch after her purse. Mm. And I ended up taking her purse home. And that's the day my mom decided to go through all my stuff and my friend had condoms in her purse. I mean, she of course thought that was the dumbest excuse in the world. Like, that's not my condoms. Mm -hmm. My friend told me to hold her condoms. <laughs> like, she still probably to this day does not believe that's the truth, but it was. Even at my apartment, my mom finds stuff. I'm like, it's mine. Now it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> like, now that's too much, mom. So the next question is, I've lived away from home at college all four years, but now I have to come back home. How do I adjust? It'll be a process. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna just come right home and love it, probably. My dad like lived at home until he was 27. He said it was the best years of his life, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I remember when I come back, when I came back home after college, my mom and I worked together on like redoing my room a little bit mm -hmm. to make it feel more adult. adult? Yeah. Because my room was like lime green and pink. And I was like, I can't live <laughs> here. Like my room. It was yellow, and then we dipped sponges in black paint and threw it at the wall and made cheetah print. <laughs> so that's fun. It was fun when I was six, but <laughs> yeah. So maybe that part of the adjustment is like kind of fixing your room to make it more, more adult. adult. Yeah. Is it a total turnoff if I still live with my parents, but I'm in my twenties? It didn't I... slow my dad down. I will say that he was dating three sisters at once. Great. I guess it's a turn on then. <laughs> and living Great. at home. Great. I understand that because I'm sometimes embarrassed to tell guys like when I'm talking with them and stuff, I'm mm -hmm. embarrassed to say like, let's come hang out. And then I'm like at my parents' house. Like it kind of, mm -hmm. even if there's no intent to do anything, just like hang out and watch a movie or whatever, it still kind of feels weird at this age to be yeah. like, come to my parents' house or whatever. But I've never met a guy that cares. Like I've never met a guy that's like, Psych, I don't like you anymore because yeah. you have a mom, loser. But <laughs> you have parents that <laughs> yeah. love you. Yeah. <laughs> so the next question is can I bring a date home overnight? In your parents' home? <sighs> yeah. I just have to say that I've tried that once. Um, <laughs> tried to bring a date home overnight, and I decided I just wasn't going to tell my parents because that oh, makes sense. No. We decided he would just come through the window and hang out and just chill, have a good time. And, you know, three hours later, the police are at my house. So <laughs> don't, what? yeah, they freaked out. They said he intruded that he wasn't welcome because they didn't invite him in and it's their home. So oh. <laughs> great. I have fun stories. Oh no. <laughs> it depends on what age you are mm -hmm. because 
you know, if you're 16 and you're at home and you want to have a date overnight, why? <laughs> Just don't. No. Don't do it. Also, sometimes I feel weird about being with someone in my, like, with my parents right below it's, me. <laughs> it's weird. When I was really young and would bring dates home and stuff, just like to hang out. Mm -hmm. I would be even scared to like hold their hand. I, my mm -hmm. parents were cool. They knew we were dating and stuff, but like I'd just be so embarrassed to be like cuddling with them and then they come in my room and see that. I'd just like scoot away yeah. really fast and be like, we're just chilling. So I feel like even at this age, I would just feel weird because it's my parents' home and I don't need to share that part of my life with them. <laughs> yeah, so I think definitely tell them. Yeah. So you don't want the police. Yeah. Don't sneak them through a window. Yeah. <laughs> Curfew post-college, appropriate or not? I understand not wanting a curfew. Mm -hmm. um, I understand maybe asking for a later one and things like that. I was in the middle of breaking up with someone mm -hmm. or like a breakup huh? my freshman year of college and my curfew was like a hard midnight and I kept calling my parents being like, we're still talking, we're still yeah. talking. And they were like, we need to go to sleep. Yeah. And then I got freaked out and I crashed my car into the garage. <laughs> Made it home. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> you really wanted to tell them you were back. I was <laughs> crying from the breakup. And so my mind was a million places. And I just- You really wanted to get in. I just crushed it into the garage and my parents came running out. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm the only references I have for how it's like to have a child is I just think about my animals. How many is it? 23, 22. A what? Yeah. His yep. first roommate. Okay. Kovu is my hedgehog. He runs on his wheel all night. Oh. I go to bed and I just hear da -da 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 all night and it's it's the worst. He has no respect. <laughs> I'm uh -huh. finally moving out and I'm kind of freaking out at the same time. Did I leave this? Uh, I <laughs> For me, I'm making sure there's like a good safety blanket behind me. Like I have the money right now. If I wanted to come move, I could mm -hmm. do it. But like in three months, I might not have as much money. And so I want to make sure I have enough money that, you know, I could pay for things comfortably without having to like suddenly panic and like start working overtime and like things like that. So it's really good to make sure that you save enough to where not only can you afford this month's rent, but you also have like a safety blanket. Like I said, you have backup. Yeah, and I think like one of the things that kind of helped me was that my mom and my dad came out with me and kind of helped me move yeah. and there was kind of this like transitional mm -hmm. thing but i was also super sad and super homesick mm -hmm. and i think it's one thing to note that it's totally normal to have this feeling of change and transition and kind of be a little homesick, mm -hmm. I feel like. I always envisioned when I was younger that like, I'm 18, I'm gonna go live on my own or something mm -hmm. like that's how I envisioned. So when I was 18, I was like, okay, I'm nowhere near ready. And then when I was like 19, I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Like, I haven't moved out yet. And like, that's stupid. Like, don't yeah. don't rush yourself just because of like your age. I mean, you have plenty of time, just make sure you're comfortable. Cause if you rush out, you're gonna end up having to go back. <laughs> yeah. Cause you rush out impulsively and then you're gonna not have money and then you're gonna be back with your parents. This is so lame. But like I took a couple items of comfort mm -hmm. from my house no, that like it. made me feel kind of like my homey and yeah. it felt a little like home. I had like already planned trips to go back and see them okay, when I was yeah. moving. Yeah. But I was like very homesick and sad. Yeah, no, I completely get it. Um, I, I get homesick on my vacations here. And it's okay to be lonely. Huh. And I think like being lonely made me really shape myself too and kind oh, of yeah. really know what I'm like as a yeah. person. So it'll be okay. Everybody yeah. does it, yeah. right? That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's a thing that people do. Um, <laughs> okay, so we usually um, talk about one takeaway that we've learned here. Okay. I like Otter Pops. Yes, I love these. I've gone through three. <laughs> <laughs> I love these little pop things. They're, yeah. That's what I've learned today. Mm -hmm. I think like parents are really good starter roommates. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> like what you, yeah. everything we've talked about is kind of like they're really good prep. Or if not, they're probably harder than regular roommates. Yeah. It's okay to not move out immediately. It's okay yeah. to take your time. It's okay to pace yourself. It's gonna be hard, but it's it's also like you're gonna feel so good coming out of it and being like, yeah. I live on my own. Exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah, you don't have to sneak people through your window anymore. Yes. It's great. Don't have to call the police. Yeah. Well, I hope that you guys learned something. You feel better, more confident. 
thank you so much for joining me. Thank and you for having me. Please follow Taylor on all of her socials. Is it Everyone. Taylor Nicole? It's Taylor. Well, <laughs> Taylor and Dean. Yeah, it, it's it's Taylor and Dean on Twitter and Instagram, and then on YouTube, it's just Taylor Nicole Dean. And then you can follow me at Candy Lowry on Instagram, the Candice Lowry on Twitter, and Candice Lowry on YouTube. What is funny? I know it's just too many things. <laughs> There's too many deviations. I'm working. Follow on. me here. Follow me here. Yeah. Follow me here. I um, <laughs> and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide for new videos, and I'm here every Thursday talking about something new. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Guess we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.